Welcome to the sixth episode of Life of the Browns Leaguer. Kanji King here to cast another game here. What we have going right now is a, another 1v1. Me versus Hello People, who is a the Red Zerg to the... Let's see here. Where did he go? He is directly to the south. So, we'll see what happens here. I know most of my videos don't think have showed a lot of Zerg play here. Um... We'll go ahead and see how I fare against the Zerg. Alright, let's see. Let's go check out his base here. Zerg's a lot far more interesting early game. Alright, so he is 6 pulling. So, awesome. So go ahead and he's getting up his spawning pool right now. Um, he's got 3 on mine. He looks like he's skying with 2 to find out where I am early. Since this, ha this, since this specific map does have 4 placements. Um... He's not going to worry, so he's going to want to get that early scout out. Scouting pattern going to go to the top north here. Um, and he's going to find me here. I've got one pylon set up, just doing you know, a normal intro. Uh, he's getting that up. He's got three, four drones on gas. Um, he's still getting the spawning pool up. Um, first drone walks into my base, sees where I am. So I don't like that, so we'll go ahead and we'll try to attack that. And my probe is saying, hey, get the hell out of my base. So I can get back to my mining. So I'll kill that, go back to mining. Um, let's see here. See, I really don't have any idea where he is at this point yet. Obviously, I haven't scouted yet. That's what I'm going to go ahead and, and do here soon. Um, well, first we'll go ahead and throw it on the gate here, try to get a wall off going. Uh, realized that I had missed that there. Tried to throw up another pylon, still missed it. Because there is still a gap right there. It's where he's still going to be able to get it, but that's alright. Uh... So here he comes with uh, four links here. Not not a full, uh, not a six pull. I mean, it was a six pull. Like here's the other two, but only came up, you know, with uh, with four. And then he's got the other two coming from behind, and then another set. So I'm pretty sure he just has them rallied to go in. I could be wrong. He doesn't look like he hasn't rallied. I'm still looking for where he is. I don't even know yet. So I mean, I've got I've got my probes. My probes fend fairly well against links. Um, so just kind of take those out as best I can. This guy is just going to keep on mine. I'm just ignoring the whole action here. He's going to get in some more here. I'm um, going to do my best to just take care of this. Trying to get out of Zealot right away here to take care of this. He's going to go for my pylon. I'm actually glad that I made both pylons because if he was smart, he would have just went straight for the pylon to stop my production. And then the game would have been over because then he could have just kept bringing things into my base. But... Um, you know, he didn't, so I got my my first zealot up here. Probes took care of that. He should go back to create a wall off here, um, which I don't think he will. He might. He does, but, I mean, again, there's still this area right here where he can still get in. So, not really for sure what's going on with this probe. I had already scouted up there, and I'm not really for sure what he was doing or what I was doing. Um, anyway, so we got some more links coming in. He's going to go ahead and try to attack me again. What's going on at his base? He's kind of just sitting out. Well, he's got five drones. Um, yeah, he's not really droning up at all. He's just kind of trying to end this early game with with, with Lings. Um, we've got two Zealots up. If I was smart, I'd place a Zealot right here to wall off, which I don't. And they do end up getting in here again, which is very annoying. But that's that's my own fault for not walling off correctly. Um, which is also why I should be getting a sentry here as soon as I get my cyber core up. So, using my probes to kind of get those guys out of there, and then as well as my uh, my zelts here, just got the cyber up. More more lanes coming into the base. Low on my probes here. Still got five more probes, and he has drones here, but still not good, just because you know I I'm on the I'm on the defensive here. He's on the offensive. I'm gonna get my probes sent up in his base here, so I do finally know where he is at, and I'll go ahead and have him get out of there. Um, these guys aren't going to get in now, so they're pretty much done getting in my base for for, for now. Um, so we'll, we'll, I've managed to hold them off here. Going to go ahead and get my first stalker here. Looks like he's going to go ahead and bring in some more. Got a drone with him. Not really for sure what that's for here. Looking at the base, not seeing a whole lot going on still. I'm um, just trying to bring it up for the tech. As far as what I'm doing here, getting that first stalker out. Not getting warp, uh, not getting, uh, warp gate research yet. Got that first stalker coming out. 
Um, just kind of checking for things. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna try to attack here again, and this is, attack is gonna be denied as well. Um, still, just kind of just uh, you know on the on the defensive here f for the time being, just trying to you know get my get my uh, probe count up and everything else. Started started researching warp gate there. Um, he's just gonna get these guys sitting down here. Um, he's starting to drone up. He's gonna go ahead and get some gas. Not doing a whole lot, you know, just getting, like I said, getting his gas up here. These guys are just kind of sitting down here as far as what I'm doing here. Gonna throw them on another pylon and hopefully get a couple more gates up here going. Um, I think I actually go one gate. Uh, we'll see here. I can't remember what the exact strategy for this game was either. Um, just doing some corona boosting, pumping out some probes here. Get a better economy going. Um, still sitting down here, didn't see those, you know, hadn't scouted anything else yet. I was just worried about, you know, I was just kind of building stuff up here. Um, he's getting some gas here. Got, got three on gas. Um, don't see a definite strategy going on here. At this point in time, he may be going Roach. Try to break down my wall. He may be going Baneling. He does have his queen up. Um, we'll see here. And, and there it was, Baneling. So he's going to go, for, that's right, he's going to go ahead and make Banelings. So he's going to get that Baneling messed up, and I'm assuming these guys are going to try to break down my wall, which... I don't think it's going to end very well for him, because that's definitely not enough to break me down. Um, doesn't have any more lings yet. I probably should have attacked at this point in time. Wasn't ready, you know, didn't know what he had. Was just kind of holding it off for the time being. Um, build more probes still here. So, I mean, I do have a pretty good probe count. Comparative. You know, I've got the, the upper hand here. We'll go ahead and we'll make... I'll go, okay, I'll go ahead and I'll we'll go three gate. Do you have a sentry up here? So we can force field in case, uh, you know, any possible attacks coming up here. Um, he's gonna go ahead and get his other gas now. He's been injecting the lair. I mean the hatchery, I'm sorry. Hatchery. Uh, just got his baneling nest up. Probably gonna start morphing in some banes. Yep, right here. Gonna go ahead and get some baneling cocoons. Decided to push out here, check my natural. And this zealot is actually gonna see this, and he's actually gonna stop this halfway through. And he actually tanks full damage from all those, from all three of those banelings. So that's actually pretty good. So I actually got him out of my base and still had the zealot to spare. So I was like, you know what, we'll go ahead and he's almost dead. We'll probably go ahead and send him out to scout. We'll see what's going on out here. So he's getting a couple more banelings here. Got three in total. He's got five lings here. Not a whole lot else. Uh, he's morphing in some drones here. T trying to drone up here a little more. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw him get an expo up here soon. All drones. Um, not injecting his lair very often there. He probably should be focused a little more on that, I would assume. I mean, I'm not a Zerg player, but I would assume he would be needing to be, you know, a little more on that. I mean, I've played Zerg before. Um, just got three Banelings. Not going to do a whole lot of damage here. Um, just the ones that still sitting down there just waiting for any, waiting to see anything. Uh, throw down two more pounds and getting Stargate. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see some Void Ray play here. Uh, let's see, we get so, so that zealot passed those banelings, walk right by him. Those banelings must be on attack move. And they're going right for the front door here. Or right there, I guess. And he's going to bring in one at a time. And he's going to get blocked, okay? And he's going to bring in another one. And get blocked. And then a third one. And I actually misclicked there. I mean, he could have got me, but it wouldn't have done anything. I'm not... Really, for sure, if this kid understands how you baneling correctly, or if he <laughs> look at it right here, just this zell just hanging out in here, he's just like, "What's up?" You know, you guys don't need to know I'm here. I'm not even paying attention either. I didn't even know he got all the way there, and they finally see him once I once I see him here, and then he, you know, gets attacked by the bane, and we're gonna see him go ahead and go into his expansion here. I'm gonna be upgrading into the lair. Um, don't see any tech ups, you know, uh, you know, any roach or anything else, you know, he might be going for roaches. Um, getting some, couple more banes. Um, I'm getting some void rays, got a lot more sentries here, so I'm just going to play it safe here on my base. And just kind of, uh, force field it up here. It looks like void rays are pretty much my whole strategy here. So I got two void rays up, I've got four sentries here, so not too bad of a lineup here as far as, you know, protecting my base goes compared to what he has. You know, I'm not really for sure, you know, if I didn't know what he had. I mean, obviously I saw that he didn't have, 
you know, only one queen or anything. He wasn't dueling the ice fisher, so I know he wasn't, you know, massing queens up here behind lines while, you know, going slings. Well, he would have got speedlings a long time ago if he was doing that anyway. Uh, anyway. Laying down his creep tumor here, trying to get some creep going to each base here. That's a good idea for him. Still getting that lair up. Just going to get up. Um, yeah, what am I doing here? Okay, we're going to go ahead and push out with a small force. Going to leave a couple things here, take out a couple things. And we got four void rays just kind of chilling out. I'm um, not seeing a whole lot of action in here. He's going to bring some drones down. Smart. But, you know, he actually has a higher drone count than me right now. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to spot this, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring it in on him. Um, yeah, that one baneling, I don't, I'm, like I said, I'm not for sure if he doesn't know, understand how banelings work. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to mess up this uh, expansion here and try to hopefully see what's going on here. That's what this, this stalker was doing, was looking for was looking for tech. He's like, what do we got here? I don't see any hydrogens or nothing like that. I see one queen, so, you know, what's going on here? get these elves up in here. They're actually going to tank all of this, I believe. I think they take out that Queen Anne. I think they take out... Oh, yeah, because he, he morphs them into Banelings halfway through. Okay, and then here come the Void Rays. So he's got no Queen, no Air Defense. Um, just got Ling... You know, just Lings. Nothing else guarding his base. Um, not doing anything. Not He doesn't have any tech up. You know, here come the Void Rays. Gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and pass the pass the expo. We're gonna go right for the lair. And take that lair out right away. And that'll go ahead and that'll be GG. And he was actually gonna go ahead and try to get some uh some mutas up there, but obviously it was too late for that. And then he's gonna go ahead and just GG. So all in all that wasn't a too bad game either. You know, again I was on the defensive there, you know, had to kinda just chill out and then you know just kind of tech up um but yeah so not 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 too terrible again i'm not for sure with as far as that kid's beanlings go i mean he did you know i'll give credit where credit is due you know he's a good player he almost had me with it at the beginning there but then you know he definitely needs some beanling work